Hilton and this is my Breathe and Flow class as part of the Happy Place Virtual Festival. So with this, we're gonna start seated. We're only gonna be here for around 20 minutes, so I want us to make the most of it. First of all, I want us to tune into our breathing, become grounded, present, in touch with our practice before we start to move. So sitting cross-legged, you can even prop yourself up against a chair, or if it's easier for you to be on your knees, the most important thing is that you feel ground and you feel comfortable and you can stay here for just a couple of minutes. So hands can be on the laps. If you're cross-legged, you might be like this, hands on the knees. You wanna make sure you're nice and upright. The belly has room to expand as we breathe in. And then out, we get this contraction. So I want to start to find a nice steady wave of breathing. It's gonna be individual to everybody. The most important part is that it's steady and it's smooth and it's full. So placing the hands maybe on the belly, or maybe one hand on the chest, that might allow you to make better contact with the mechanics of the breathing. Because this is the tempo, this is the pace we're gonna try and keep for the rest of the practice. This also grounds us down, allows our body to settle into a nice steady state. It's just observing the breathing, accepting it. And every time we breathe out, we ground down, we become a little bit more calm, a little bit more steady, less up here, more here. And now I'm trying to breathe a little bit deeper. See if you can get this belly to expand a little bit more. As you breathe in, it might be belly, then into the ribs, then up into the chest. And then you might start to notice there's a little pause before you breathe out. So breathing all the way in, this is full cycle. Pause, a hold, and then you let go. All the way out. So now starting to pull a little bit more air in, See if you can pause and hold for a little bit longer. When you breathe out, make it steady, slow, and controlled. In for the nose if you can, and then out of the nose. If you have to breathe out the mouth, make it steady, make it smooth and controlled. So just imagine you've got a small straw in your mouth and you're gently allowing it through the pursed lips. Each wave of breath, each cycle of breath, you start to tap into the practice. You start to really connect with every single part of your body. We're paying attention, tuning in, calming ourselves down, internalizing the energy. Each breath has the power to do this. So just a few more now. Now pulling as much air as you can, now you start to find your rhythm, see if you can work a little bit deeper, a little bit more expansion, a little bit more full. Hold, pause, consciously relax the jaw, relax the eyes, and then let it out. Two more, all the way in. A hold, a pause, in whatever situation, position you're in, headspace, Bring some focus and let it go. Last one. Nice, okay. So in this seated position, Again, on your knees and the seated position in the cross leg space, left hand goes down, I want you to inhale up to the right, and then exhale, fall down to the left. Inhale, right hand comes down, left hand comes up. Keeping active, stretching through the side body, breathing out, this hand is here to support you, lengthening, feeling that space from the hip all the way over, and then we're gonna change sides. One more time each side, inhale up, exhale, not just collapsing onto this side, feeling that side body stretch, making sure this arm is engaged. Inhale, last one, exhale. Nice. 
nice. Okay, inhale, both arms come up, breath out, open up the chest. So retract the shoulders, breathe into the chest, allow the shoulders to drop back. Breathe into that bigger open area of the chest cavity here. And as you breathe out, you're gonna reach forward, bring the fingertips together around the spine, drop the chin to the chest, and just stretch out the back. Good. Inhale, reach the arms back up. And as you breathe out, bring the arms down, hands behind the body, place the hands back, fingers facing away, and then engage you through the fingers, send the chest forward, take the gaze up to the ceiling, to the sky, send the shoulders back, and then breathe into that space, into the shoulders, into the chest here. So opening things up. Remember, each breath should be a steady wave, a steady flow. And that breath out softens the body to find more room. Okay, turning now onto all fours. Mobilizing now, really lovely cat-cow variations, used a lot because it's for very good reason to find some articulation of the spine, being gentle. So the inhale is gonna be a little tilt chest forwards, looking forwards, be careful not to aggravate the neck. And as you breathe out, the chin goes to the chest, you push away from the floor and you find this opening through the back all the way down the vertebrae. And we're just gonna stay here just to find a bit of space. So just two or three breaths, keep stretching. And then inhale. Exhale. As you can see, I'm starting to add a little bit of a rock, starting to free flow with my breathing, being intuitive, separating the back. We're trying to keep the spine safe, mobilize, release tension in the back, so we start to free up other areas of our hip. Our hips, our shoulders will respond a lot better when our spine feels a little bit more mobile. So start to move it laterally now, play around with that space, inhaling, rounding, make it fluid. So you breathe, you flow, you start to gently try some slightly different positions, allowing everything to flow, nothing jars, breathing in, breathing out. Good. And then bring the hands down in front of you. Fingers activate, take the knees back so they're stacked under the hips, and then allowing the chest to fall down to the floor. So we use that bit of heat to create a little bit of extension through the spine, active through the fingers, lengthening the torso. Breathing in, you'll feel that opening into the back, and then breathe out and soften, flow down to the floor. Good, bring the hands back stacked under the shoulders. We're gonna activate now, turn the toes, inhale, knees come off the floor, breath out, hips go high, into our downward dog. So spreading out our fingers, distributing the weight over our wrists, playing with this heel, little tap to the floor, so pedaling off. And when I say pedal, I want you to sort of be intuitive, listen to your body, you might not go all the way down, but try and imagine each breath, each movement, being gentle, being fluid. From here, we're gonna tiptoe as we breathe in, up towards our hands, staying low, keep pushing away from the floor. And then inhale, come up halfway. You might wanna place the hands on the, um, the shins to extend and lengthen the spine. So we create a little bit of activation through the back. Inhale, looking forwards, arch the back a little bit more. Breathe out, completely fold, hinging at the hips. Grabbing the wrists or the forearms behind the legs. Next breath in, and as you breathe out, squeeze. Soften the knees as much as you want.
and then release the hands down to the floor. Give the wrists a little bit of love. And then grab the elbows and a gentle little rock in this fold. So just allowing a little bit of space to open up through the back. Breathing in, breathing out, shake off the head, no tension in the neck. Allowing the back to decompress, so the spine lengthens. We take tension out of the back as we breathe in and as we breathe out. Okay, inhale now as you sweep the arms forwards. We're going to sink into a chair pose. So choose into position, you ideally want to feel a little bit of heat into the legs. We're not going to be here for too long, that's not our intention. But use the breathing to control and harness that heat, that energy, so we keep it fluid. And then inhale, straighten the legs, you fold straight back. Inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, fold. And then inhale, bringing the arms forwards, swooping them back, interlocking the fingers, and then one more time, Come up into that chair, but the fingertips grabbing behind your back opens up the chest and the shoulders, allows us to find room here. Imagine you're kind of doing like a, a ski jump. <laughs> but allowing a little bit of heat, feeling and breathing into the chest, the shoulders. And then this time we're going to keep hold of the hands, we're going to hinge back, arms are going to come up, pinching into the back. Open up the shoulders, breathing into the chest, and then release the hands and let them fall down to the floor. Interlock the hands behind the back, sorry, behind the legs. Breathe in, feel that space open up into the back, and then give yourself another squeeze. Release the hands down to the floor. Step back, both feet end up in a high plank position. Breath in. Breath out, harnessing that heat. And now interconnecting with our next sequence of this flow. Breathing in, breathing out. Back in our downward dog here. We're gonna inhale, and now we push away from the floor. We come away from the tiptoes, hips go high. We round the spine, looking back towards our toes. And then we breathe out, we end up in a high plank position. Inhale, pushing back. Left leg kicks up high. And as you breathe out, next breath. Sweeping it forwards, placing it between the left and the right hand. Tune back into your breath. Knee comes down, arms through back. Inhale, open. So not extending too high. I want you to sort of stay quite tight into the chest. So finding, so opening, but finding space in the chest. Sinking deep, front body opens. Also, we've got this space through the back leg, the hip, the quad, back foot can be turned, it's up to you. And then inhale, open and deepen. And then breath out, this front leg straightens, fingers come down to the floor, and then sitting this heel down, you sit back, these toes come up. And we feel this back leg stretch. Last sequence of this flow, coming back forwards, right hand down, left foot grounded. Inhale, turn to the left, Keeping that arm bent so we keep it tight into the back. We're able to get a stronger twist. Nice. Bring the right left hand on the inside of the left foot. Step back. Push back. Pedal off. Space the fingers out. Breathe in. Breathe out. See if you can get a little bit longer, a little bit deeper, a bit more playful. Let's balance that out. Inhale, come up onto the toes, hips go high, round the spine, looking back. Breathe out, high plank. Inhale, pushing back. Right leg comes up. 
Stepping forwards, breathe. Knee comes down. Take it back far enough so you feel the stretch through the quads, the hips. Make sure you're stable. Inhale, come up. It's kind of more like a cactus position, so you're breathing into the chest. The shoulders tilt back, the chest comes forwards. You arch into the body. But stay strong, grounded through the feet. Mm, good, and then next breath, pushing, hands come down, then the heel goes down, the feet come up, the toes come up. Gentle fold, feel that stretch in the back of the leg. Always coming back to our breath. How are we breathing? Are we keeping nice and controlled? Keeping a nice steady rhythm. Coming forwards, left hand goes down. Right foot grounded. Sweep and open up to the right. Keep that right arm bent so we can really twist into the upper body. Two to three breaths is a nice way just to enjoy the stretch a little bit more. Right hand, left hand comes down. Activate the back left leg, step back. Push back, last downward dog here. Mm, good. And then bring the knees down to the floor. Flatten out the feet and come into this kneeling position. So if this is uncomfortable for you, you might have changed the position. You might be on the toes. If that's too much, you might be here. That's still okay. The main thing is I want them to be able to move through a little sequence now from this kneeling position just to close this out. But this is a nice way for our belly to find room to really get that deeper, more nourishing breath. So we're using the heat, we're using this light energy, we're using this ability to mobilize and stretch to also bring a nice calm state. We're never out of control. Hmm. So always coming back to breathing, choosing that tempo, that rhythm that works for you. So from this now, you're gonna come forward if that's allowing you from that kneeling position. You allow the hips to come forward. You feel a light squeeze of the glutes. You find a stretch of the quads through the hips. And then we open up, arms reach forwards. Inhale, exhale, interlock the fingers behind the back. And then deepen one more time as you breathe into that chest, the shoulders, the arms open. And keeping this position, sinking back down onto the knees, allow the body to open, deepen that space into the chest, takes the pressure off the hips. And then let the arms unlock, bring the hands down to the floor. And we sink down to a child's pose. Palms can be together. Bring the head down to the floor. You can rest your head on the hands. And taking those last few breaths. Mm. Good, and then push yourself back up. Come to a seated position. Make any last minute adjustments. Come back into a nice steady centered breath. Where we began the whole practice, but now feeling a little bit different. close that out, we stay Namaste Legends and a little bow. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for turning up, hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you very soon. Bye! If you like that video, there are loads more talks, classes and exclusive videos from the Happy Place Virtual Festival. So don't forget to subscribe on YouTube 
Do follow us on Instagram for constant updates and enjoy.